Hello, this is Lacey McAuley. I am here in Toronto, Canada. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the street view real quickly of Toronto. This is Queen Street in Toronto. Uh, so, here at a coffee shop. Um, and I uh, just wanted to happily report that uh, yesterday I faced the charges in the Toronto court of assault of a police officer, which of course I did not do, and the case was very promptly withdrawn. Um, basically, uh, it was about 30 seconds. I went and stood there right next to uh, the representative for my lawyer, Greg LaFontaine, who very luckily, uh, I'm very lucky, is taking my course, it was taking my case on pro bono. And um, uh, Basically, the prosecutor said we have no interest in pursuing the charges. So, uh, I'm a free woman, and that leaves me free to actually uh, press charges against my attackers, the um, especially Officer Kevin Antoine, the Toronto police officer who assaulted me. Uh, badge number 7880, he sat on top of me and punched me while another individual uh, actually uh, strangled me and punched me in the head. So, um, I uh, am going to uh, be free to pursue uh, my options in terms of suing them, and I will keep you all updated. Um, so yesterday, actually 303 of us faced charges, including 17 individuals, 17 who are actually all facing the charges of uh, conspiracy, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, their lives are being completely transformed, it's uh, really unfair, they are not allowed to associate with themselves, and many of them are on house arrest, they're not even allowed to talk to the press. Um, so these are individuals who need to continue to receive our support, and to continue to, to, to um, basically receive our, our, our concern. Uh, so, um, the, uh, the struggle does not end here. Um, basically, we need to actually see some justice against those who uh, are the real criminals coming out of the G20, not only the Toronto police and the other police departments who uh, beat us up, broke our bones in some cases, violated our civil liberties, but the G20 itself. Um, so, uh, we, um, we're going to continue to fight, we're going to continue to, to organize, and so forth, and uh, uh, I will keep you all updated as to what happens. Um, as it, uh, right now, what's, the next thing that's going to happen is that I'm going back home to Washington, D.C. on the, uh, the morning train tomorrow. So, um, thank you everyone for your wonderful support, and, uh, and be well. Thank you.